this is Stephanie and in today's little tutorial video we will be learning or I will be teaching you how to make some ruffles with the dynamish sphere so here we have the basic sphere you can find it in the light box section it's gonna be right over here and we will be basically using this to just make something a ruffle shape you know make it look nice and to look around you can be using the little head in the corner and we're also going to be looking at the sub tools as well and yeah so let's get started over here in today's okay so usually what i do first would be scaling it but for today's video i guess like i'm just going to keep it like what this size so you guys can see all the details but this is how we start so scale quick scale you're gonna get the green part of the scale up move y-axis you're gonna flatten it down so it's gonna look like an m m basically yep so that's where it is and yeah so it's gonna look like that and usually i don't do this a lot but i usually like to tilt it too so i could like look at both the bottom and top if you want to bring it up you can do that too but remember it's going to bring the plane so if you're having trouble with that too i would duplicate it okay keep this one up top or keep this one at the bottom keep this one at the top for so you can bring it up and then see it doesn't like move the plane i'm pretty sure there's another way to like lock the plane if i'm not mistaken but yeah i think it's no i'm not too sure but that's basically that. So now we will go into draw mode and we will take our M&M &M shape looking at model. Go into tools, so where it says brush. And we are going to basically click on, let me see. There's usually cloth move, but I like to do the inflate. So let's go find it. So inflate. Inflate tool does that. Okay, so... Let's see, so that's the inflate button. So what I like to do is I like to shape out where I'm going to put the basic like ruffle shape. So let's grab, let's move that intensity. Let's do like 13. Yeah, so right there. And if you want, you could turn off symmetry or activate it. It's up to you. Honestly, it doesn't really matter. But I mean, if you want to make it look nice and symmetrical, then sure. So like, let's go in with it. But. Okay. So we're gonna bring this up. There's also the deflate. I'm pretty sure it should be around here somewhere. Okay. So it's not, no, I can't see it. But for now, let's just go in like this, shape it out, shape it out, shape it out. Okay. Now it's gonna look like bread. I don't know, this gives me like bread vibes. So we're gonna do that. I like to go up here and just like make it bigger as well but that's your choice so it's gonna look weird at first I know it's gonna look quite weird and this is a basic layout it's gonna look like a shell basically so now we're going to go ahead with the sub tool okay so sub and this is the basic one oh, wait no. so this is the basic uh, sub tool so we're gonna go with the basic sub tool standard so it's gonna do all that it's kind of similar but not really it's, it's the whole thing so we're gonna sub tool that okay okay and oh yeah okay but before that we are going to use the sub tool standard and we are going to go under the actual thing so ruffles they usually have like a little zigzaggy thing it's it's like up and down up and down so what you want to do is like just shape it out like for example like like so shape it out and then when you find your spot you just do that spot where the ruffle is usually bending down and if you want to oh, if you want to smooth it out a bit too so it's like easier to work with that's you can also do that um but yeah this is basic stuff you want to learn how to do it this way or you could also you know activate sculptors pro as well it tends to get a little bit easier to work with i believe so let's go in here 
and let's just start moving this. So, yep. Remember, shell shape and just bring it shell shaped. Shell shaped. Yes. So, right now it looks a little weird. Trust me, I know. But once you get the whole hang of it, you'll see. Okay, so we're gonna create a ruffle shape. Okay, to be not too intense because I don't want it to be too wild. Okay. We just get the intensity. Let's lower that. I'm gonna just put that together. Awesome. Okay. So we're getting a shape right now of the ruffles. And I'm basically using the basic ruffles I used on my last project as well as an example. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then I could bring it up here. And yeah, so I'll probably show it in editing someday, but yeah. So after, you know, shaping this, you basically want to just still work around it. Just just work around it, basically. Like, use the standard Z sub tool to, you know, basically make a dent in it and make it, like, more ruffle shape kind of thing. And yeah. So that is the whole... Do it. I'm gonna flatten this out actually so I can look at the shape easily. So we're gonna flatten that out right there with the shift key, smooth it out at the bottom so we have this top lining on it and we have the little ridges at the bottom. So now that we have the ridges at the bottom, we could use it to our advantage. Let me just like actually do that a little bit. Yeah. Okay, so now we have. Now we have our little like ruffle side, so we are going to go ahead and basically bring it all to a point. I like to bring it all to like one point, so I basically just do that and then smooth it out. I bring the sub tool, I bring it up, and then I smooth it out. Okay, so then it's, it's looking pretty cool. It's still looking inflated, like I said. But, it's supposed to look like that <laughs> right now. <clears throat> okay. It's supposed to look like that for now. And, yeah. Okay, so now what we're going to do is... Sorry, I need to cut this off. <laughs> okay, now we're going to Z-remesh it. So we're going to remesh... Okay, so we're gonna use a remesh. So let's go to geometry. Let's see, Z remesher. So we're gonna click on Z remesher. We're gonna click same, keep creases, detect edges, and let's see how it looks like now. Okay, so it definitely looks a lot cleaner. You know, looks more cleaner. Of course, we got the little indents here and there, but that can be easily fixed. So let's just get started on the next step. Alrighty, so the next step will be to basically go over the same stuff. It's basically just like inflating and using the subtool, the Z sub. So it's kind of both. So let's grab inflating, inflating brush. So it doesn't like, so it has like an edge here. Okay. Edge. <laughs> okay, let's create the shape actually. Or actually, let me just. Or, okay, or you know it could be used. Okay, actually, let me redo this whole thing. 
Alrighty, so next step will be to basically use the standard brush and try to just shape it out. And then from there you keep um, Z adding, Z subbing, and all that. So, hold on. I'm going to turn off that active sub tool just because I can, might be easier for you to work with. For example, me. I switch between the two because sometimes it's easier to work with, sometimes it's a bit messy. So, for example, like that. So, if you get something like that, then yeah, it's going to be a bit like of a challenge to work with. So, that's when you want to try it again. Do your measure. Let's see. Okay. Yeah. So, we get this. And so, we're basically going to move it up. Okay. Definitely. Let me get the sub tool, and this is where we're gonna do like a drastic step. So you want to be a bit rough with it, and I'll explain more later why. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do this. So this is for the bottom of the actual ruffle, and this is to give it that, like, shape look. Um, but yeah, you guys are going to have to excuse my video production skills. I have not recorded a tutorial in a bit, and that is because I just haven't had the time. But, you know, still, we're trying. That's what counts. And, yeah. So we have a shape like that. And at first, it's going to look a little weird. Trust me. It looks... Definitely looks a little bit weird, but we're getting the shape. So, I'm gonna go at the bottom, shape it like that. Mm -hmm. It's going in up and down in motion. Remember, this is the Z sub, so it's going to definitely show on the bottom. Okay. And then, what I do sometimes is I just do it on the sides too optional like if it looks nice then do it you know and then i smooth it out smooth that out and yeah so let's see let's see okay so it's definitely looking more like ruffles now from the side like if you're it's like um clothing basically so yeah now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna flatten this out i'm gonna just hold on Really flatten this out. I like to do the size big so it does it flatten. So flatten that. Okay, that we're not we're not gonna flatten it. It is because we're gonna dig into it. So it's looking pretty neat. Okay. I like to drag it a little bit. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and do that. goodness oh no we have technical difficulties here okay let's see let's see how are we gonna hmm okay let me see this 